Good morning. New Year's blessings to all of you. I'm ahead of schedule. I made a mistake last night already. I had to use whiteout because I wrote 2016 on something that was supposed to be 2017. But the good news is I didn't make that mistake this year. So <laughs> if your resolutions are not to make any mistakes, that's a pretty tough task. I'd rather look for forgiveness. Well, great to see all of you, members and guests.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christ our Savior is born. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come. The Savior whom God prepared for us from of old is present with us. The one to whom was given the name Jesus. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then together confess our sins to God our Father. We have celebrated the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, even in this joyous time of year we fall short of the life to which our Savior calls us. We are sinners who cannot save ourselves. We have, we have been hard, unkind, proud, arrogant, complaining, grudging, and more. We confess all our sins to you, Lord, hold back the need of our prayer, and that have to stop coming to us. We plead for your mercy. Amen. Salvation unto us has come. God has been faithful. He kept his promise. He sent his son to live, die, and rise for us. By God's grace through faith you are forgiven. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We pray. Eternal Father, you gave your Son the name of Jesus to be a sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart the love of the Savior of the world. For your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The uh, first lesson this morning is going to be found in the Pew Bible on page 215 in the book of Numbers, if you'd care to turn to that and follow along. Page 215. And you'll find there that we will begin reading in verse 22 of chapter 6. Now here the Lord has instructed Moses to tell Aaron that he, as high priest, should bless the people with the words that we're going to be reading here. This blessing has become known uh, as the Aaronic benediction, and we receive it regularly at the end of our worship services, and it's a beautiful blessing that comes from the Lord. Verse 22, the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. And say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The psalm of the day reflects the psalmist 
rendition of God's creation. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars which you have set in place. What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. Made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds, the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. On a second lesson for today is printed in the worship folder at the bottom of page five, and uh, we together can read responsibly, as noted. And this is uh, St. Paul has written these uh, inspired words, and again, he's seek, uh, telling Christians that we ought to seek the attitude of Jesus, and that his approach to ministry is that of being a humble servant. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but to each of you to the interests of the others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Today's Holy Gospel from John 1, 1 to 4 and 14 and then Luke 2, 21. In John, he tells the Christmas story in a theological way. Jesus, the word from eternity, now takes on human form. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing has been made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And in Luke 2, on this eighth day of Christmas, Jesus is named as commanded through the angel Gabriel. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Be to God. We use the Christmas Creed as a way of confessing our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, who sent his Son as my Savior at Christmas, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born the Virgin Mary, announced by the angels, adored by the wise men, who lived to suffer, die, and rise again, to free us from sin, death, and the power of the devil. I believe in the Holy Spirit, who has brought me to faith in the Christ of Christmas, by whose continuous work in my heart I am ever kept in the faith, and through whom I am led to lay before the feet of Christ the treasures of my love and live under him as my King, both now and forevermore. 
Amen. We invite children forward if you'd like to share in a children's message. Thanks for coming up. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You're good at your letters, right? What could J stand for? Jesus. We'll accept that. How about an E? Elephant. That's true. Can you think of anything that you look around here that would be with an E? What color are the trees? Evergreen. Everlasting. There's a school named after an E. And Jesus' one name is after an E. E. Emmanuel, right? Now we got an S. What could that stand for? Son of God. And what was his job? To save other people. Very good. You're available next week. <laughs> How about a U? You think of anything a U would stand for that would teach about Jesus? God created the earth. Did he create more than that? Yes. So if you think of the whole big picture, what did he create? The universe, right? And you and I are united together because of Jesus. And the last letter is a repeat. Can you think of any other S's? When Jesus took our place, what was he? A slave for us. Yeah, that's true. He was a substitute. And he was a sacrifice. Very good. Can you put that one there? So we have the name Jesus. We're going to talk about that some more today. You'll pray with me if they pray with us, right? Yep. Reagan said yes. Everybody has to join in. Dear Lord, thank you for coming to be our Savior. Help us honor your name, the great name of Jesus. Amen. You're a pretty good leader. You got him going. Another suggestion, Pam. Page 379. 379. 379, oh come all you faithful. Verses 1 and 4. Please.
484. Might be a solo, Deb. I just got a call from somebody on the uh, internet said they want Silent Night and that's uh, 363 Silent Night has a little legend behind it it was Christmas Eve and a young priest Father Joseph Moore realized the organ wasn't working but he really wanted music he had written a poem, so he talked to the music director, Franz Gruber, and gave him this poem, and Franz Gruber worked out a tune to Silent Night. Joseph Moore played it with guitar. So Joseph couldn't make it, but Myron Sager's here to lead us, Silent Night with guitar. Silent Night Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night. Shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing hallelujah. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God. Love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. Our second reading today talked about that. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Isn't that great to think of Jesus' name of being honored and glorified this past weekend 
thousands, millions of peoples around the world acknowledge Jesus is Lord. For us, the challenge is to acknowledge him as Lord every day and to live him as Lord every day. A father gave his son some Christmas toys, a helicopter, a spaceship, a race car. All of them were battery run, and so he gave him batteries. On Christmas afternoon, they observed their son, and he was stacking batteries, having lots of fun stacking batteries. And you might say, well, that's great. It's good he can make use of every part of his gift. But in a sense, he's really going to miss the best part of the helicopter and the spaceship and the race car if he doesn't learn how to apply the power in the right way. That could be true for you and me. If we just honor Jesus as a nice guy, a good leader, an excellent teacher, a prophet, it wouldn't be enough. We need to honor him as our savior, the one he came to be, the one the scripture reveals to us. The one who saves, that's what his name means. Jesus, the one who saves. What is his mission? To save. What is his name? The same, Jesus. So his name is his mission. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. The one who's present in our lives, uplifts us, gives us hope, surrounds us with love. I've come that they may have life and have it abundantly. Young people might say, have it to the max. Get the best out of life with the Lord Jesus. And spiritually speaking, that's indeed what he wants us to have. The fullness of knowing forgiveness and love and joy and the best of what he has to give. The word became flesh. The word always is God from eternity. But the word took on a human form. Why do you suppose God did that? Do you think the Lord knew that we might lose track of him? The Old Testament people did, didn't they? Some didn't listen to the prophets. Some of the prophets even got off track. So God said, in these later days, I'm going to send the very image of myself so they can see me and my love face to face. The word became flesh, a human being like us in every way except what? He did not sin. So he was the perfect savior for us. And more than that, he's the greatest gift ever given, or you could say it in a different way, he's the greatest gift that ever lived. He's not just a gift to be put on a shelf. He's not just a man-made religion. Somebody sat down and said, well, I think I should write about these things. We have some examples of those kind of religions that are, have a little bit of Christianity, but they're way off track because they accept somebody else's man-made nature. It's not a gift for manipulation. Jesus is Savior and Lord to guide and to lead, not just to use. Not a mysterious gift because he reveals himself to us. He makes clear the message that he brings not a gift that brings fear. Rather, it's a gift to be shared and loved. A gift that's genuine, you can count on it. And a gift that has lasting value. He will always be our savior. He will always be there for us. A gift to be used daily. We can start the week out or the year out in worship. But the Lord wants us to find that connection every day of how he's involved in our daily decisions, our daily work, our daily celebration, our daily joy, our need for forgiveness or renewal, a gift with a source from eternity, because love comes from eternity and goes to eternity. That's why it's the greatest gift. The greatest gift ever lived, 
a gift born for us, lived for us, he suffered for us, died, rose, ascended into heaven for us. For who? For you, for me, and for all people. And our task as God's people are to share the name of Jesus, to announce the name of Jesus, to confess the name of Jesus as our Savior. His name is his mission. His name is Joshua in the Old Testament, or Yeshua in the Hebrew. He's the Savior. The Greek word for Savior is soter. What did a soter do? He was a doctor who assisted people with illness and disease. Remember what Jesus said about being a doctor? He said it's not people who are well do not need a doctor, but only those who are sick. He becomes known as the great physician. But his words often when he healed somebody was, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. The wholeness of a person is physical healing to a degree, but the real wholeness is a spiritual connection with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the great physician, the shepherd who cares about each of us. John Newton is the same person who wrote to him Amazing Grace. And here's another one. Why don't you say the words with me? How sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ears. It soothes our sorrows, heals our wounds, and drives away all fear. It makes the wounded spirit whole and calms the heart's unrest. It's manna to the hungry soul and to the weary rest. The name of Jesus, a powerful name and yet a gentle, caring, the sweet name of Jesus. His name is hope. It doesn't wear out. Remember in Hebrews, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In 2016, in 2017. He is the Lord an everlasting warranty, if you will, guaranteed by God the Father, meant to last, to give hope every day. There was a young girl who struggled sometimes with her confidence and wondering whether she was valuable or worth anything. She experienced some put-downs at times in school. But one Christmas, as a young teen, it struck her what God had done for her as she looked upon that scene of the Lord giving his son to be her savior. And she looked back at that often to think, I am valuable. Christ came for me. Jesus loves me with an everlasting love. There was a man who was rather hardened in life, kind of bitter, gruff, resentful, Someone introduced him to the Bible, and he was reading in Romans, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, that's me, he thought. And as hardened and brazen as he was, tears came out of his eyes, and he knew that he was loved by the Lord God. It made a difference in his life. There was a minority student who sometimes wondered about being a minority and why he was sometimes treated as a second-class citizen. But he also had grown up as a Christian and knew that he had identity as part of the family of God. And he found some other people in the classroom who had that same identity, and they found a way to build up one another because they knew the one who said, Surely I will be with you always. How long? To the end of the age, the end of the world. A woman who had trouble with an addiction found through a friend the love of the Lord. She made every effort to try to change her problem, but she also came to the conclusion that even if she slipped, her Lord still loved her and forgave her. But she also wanted to use his strength in every way possible to try to change and be the person she wanted to be. A businessman 
an athlete, any person, put your picture up there. And the Lord says, whatever you do or whatever you say, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Our life is related to him. Work life, family life, social life, education life, fun life, church life. He is the hub of the wheel. We are the spokes. So his name is Jesus. Honor the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Witness to the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. He's the greatest gift ever lived. And now you got to help me. Give me a J. Oh, no, no. A J. Give me a J. Oh, that's better. Okay. So J is for Jesus. He was Jewish. But we find joy in him being our savior. Give me an E. E. Emmanuel, everlasting, ever loving. Give me an S. S. Savior, he was sent for us. Shows us love. You. You. You're dropping off. You. You. Universal, union, unity. Another S. S. Sacrifice, substitute salvation. And what is his name? Jesus. Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, the greatest gift ever lived. May the Lord bless us in this new year that we take him seriously and plug him in and don't just play with the batteries. The Lord bless and keep us. Amen. Merciful Father, by your grace we enter this new year. We praise and glorify your name. We thank you for the various blessings of the past year and also for the strength to meet the challenges. Be with us and guide us by the power of the Spirit that we might be faithful and that we might be involved in the increase of your ministry. Lord, in your mercy. God of comfort, whether the new year brings sickness or health, poverty or riches, sadness or joy, we know you will give us guidance and strength. Be with all those remembering loved ones in this season, especially those who've lost ones in recent days. Grant hope, Lord, in your mercy. Help to honor the name of Jesus in the fullest way possible that we might serve you and one another. Into your hands, Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have given us a new revelation of your glory, that seeing you in the person of your Son, we may be drawn to the love of those things which are not seen. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and singing. Lord Jesus Christ, the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he'd given thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take eat. This is my body given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup. When he'd supped and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. 
This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. We pray as Jesus taught, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And may his body and his blood, which is given and shed for you, strengthen you and keep you faithful to life everlasting. Peace be with you. Almighty God, thank you for your great gift of love and forgiveness. Grant to us a cheerful hope in your mercy, a confident peace in your promises, a continuous joy in your faithfulness and a sincere love for you and one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Mm -hmm.